You're watching The Breakfast Club. Girl, Morning, everybody. Oh. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got two guests in the building. Why you ain't yeah. say special guests, man? We got Dickhead and Pussy. Let's get <laughs> wow, 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 wow. What's up with you, all you, you, usually, usually, oh, usually, oh, usually we are, you, I would always like to start off by saying welcome. Thank you for having us here at Breakfast Club. <laughs> you guys have always been very nice to us, helped us through our career. Uh, you know, elevated us with interviews. My guys, what's, let's, wrong, let's, what's all this place? What's going let's on? We're going to start with this. You, you owe my wife an apology. We owe your wife an apology? What Absolutely. do we do? Absolutely. When you insinuated that she was there for the check. Yes, she did. Uh, when you said she was there for the check. That's what you said exactly. I heard it. And so you I have feel... The clip right now. Yeah, you owe her an apology. Hear, let's, hold hold hear the, on, let's hear the apology. Let's hear the clip. Hold on, you. We got the clip on deck? since 15. All right, let's hear the clip. Hold on, I'm talking. Since 15. Before I had a dollar. She okay. was making more money than me. So to insinuate that she was there for a check or she's good with Envy's check is a, is a disrespect to me. Okay, can I hear the clip? You said it. <laughs> You don't remember what you... He does drink Bex for you breakfast. Said, no, he doesn't know what No, we do yeah. four shows a week. Yeah, seriously. You said it on air. You said it on air. All right, hold on. Well, let's hear it. Everything was fantastic. He was a wonderful father. He never failed at that. I really didn't see any red signs. He's like, damn, you lying as hell. You lying like a mother for me. I appreciate you, queen. I didn't see any red signs. Wow. And when I found out I hired a divorce attorney. Wow. I even began to prep my kids. And <laughs> How do you prep your kids? Your daddy ain't shit. Envy was ready to speak his piece. Talk to him. Envy. He did it with the echo shit too. Like, yo, 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 I ain't really sorry, cheap, cheap, sorry. Cheap. I, I felt like a letdown. I felt like a failure. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I was Rashawn at home, but in the streets I was DJ Envy. Mm -hmm. So right. it was two mm -hmm. different people. And I didn't know DJ Envy. Right. And it. it was it was a situation. Well, you know them DJ, DJ Envy checks so, though. What? what the I don't I don't know. You know them DJ Envy checks though. That's a, that's a little disrespectful, bro. That was a joke, Envy. Now, I don't for real. That joke when you talk about my wife. All right, uh, I apologize, then. You see what I'm saying? You can talk about me all day. You can make all jokes right. to me, but when it comes about my wife and my family, it's a little disrespectful. Envy would never do another joke and about you. You should know that because you I got kids and a wife. No, I feel you. I feel you. I hear that. But you know what I'm saying? At the end but, of the but day, there is no but. No, there has to be. There, there is, has there to is be no but when it comes to wife and kids. There is no but. You can talk about me all you want, make fun of me all you want, but when it's wife and kids, there is no but. Look at my Instagram comments. It's full of like yo. I don't look at your shit. I don't talk about my wife and my kids. You can play with that. I don't play with that. I don't play with that neither. But at the end of the day, it was respecting it. You should know that immediately. Come on. You thought you really thought that was a disrespectful. Yes, it was disrespectful. Yes, yeah. When my, when my wife heard it, she thought it was disrespectful too. Really? Absolutely disrespectful. Absolutely. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought we was cool. I thought, I thought was we cool was cool. Too. I thought I that. Thought I thought cool it was too. like a jokey joke. No, I apologize. Joke. It's a jokey thing when you joke about all me. All right. You could joke about me. I did not know that. I did not know that. We have serious. never had this conversation where you were like, your boundaries is here. Don't do this. Don't do this. We're having the conversation right now. You're telling me. And now I understand. You're telling us do not joke. You will not hear no more jokes about your family, about your kids, about you or nothing. I talk about Charlotte. I mean, I talk about child, I talk about you, but I'll never bring it to your wife and kids regardless. Okay, cool. You've established that. We understand. We're Claro. Boom. Everything yeah. good? Everything's good. good. Sure y'all don't need five minutes New York style? You know what I'm saying? Mean, I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I got my, my, my spanks on, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we, tight. We, Everybody we good. Woosah, okay? We can go outside, you know what I'm saying? Everybody woo it's fine. Yeah, you, guys, you good? I'm good. Right, uh, okay. We put some respect on your name, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, Meryl, you going to therapy now, I heard? Yeah, yeah. It's very important. <laughs> it's very important. It's very important. Listen, it's, it's, it's overlooked in the black and Latino community to mental health is really overlooked. So, if you have the opportunity, if you have insurance, go to a therapist, man. Go weekly, you know what I'm saying? Make appointments and then get everything that you got on your mind or off your chest. What you made you I'm decide saying? that was necessary? I got four fucking kids, you know what I'm saying? And a mortgage and TV is very fickle. You know that. You know what I'm saying? They always say the easy part is getting on TV. The hard part is staying on TV and continuing to make money in entertainment. So... You got that stress on you. You got anxiety uh, of that of, of, of possibly losing everything. Everything, you know no what I'm saying? For no, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. you say the wrong thing and it's all gone. Yeah. But so, you guys are investing in other things too. Oh yeah, of course. Sorry, we're we're, we're diversifying. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do a celebrity boxing match with Envy. You know what I'm saying? Next week. You know okay. what I mean? It's gonna be lit. I would love that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. Envy's been taking boxing. FYI. He's, he's, he's I had like, another question war. on my list for y'all. Hold on, let me read it. No, uh, he's gonna. He's gonna uh, make the most spicy. Here we go. Here we go. Texas Pete Charlemagne. Has anybody ever pressed y'all about the spicy comment? Is that taped away? Yeah. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Of course. I mean, like, yo, listen. It's at the end of the day, it's a cultural commentary show, and if mm -hmm. something happens in the culture, this is the culture. Y'all are the culture. Right. So if something happens and it's a it's a big deal, people talk about it. We talk about it. Who's been your biggest guest so far? You would say um, that you were like, wow, this is amazing. On our rate that someone had us, um, probably Kristen Gillibrand, the Gillibrand? congresswoman, like for because it wasn't even like a 
I was, you know, I was, she wasn't just doing it for promo. Like, mm-hmm. she really rocks with the show and yeah. stuff. And, you know, just to be aware that we're on, like, some white lady who's in power's radar is like, okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of trajectory you want to go towards. You want to go towards people who have influence and power and then try to do some good with that. Shout out to my guy, Adriano Espaillat, another congressman who came on the show. You know Ooh. what I mean? Adriano Espaillat. I said it very Latino. Because okay. yeah, yeah, I know you got the Afro Latino shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know you got to fuck up. I want no problems with the Afro Latinos. Mm. By the way, man, I don't know what kind of Jamaican voodoo uh, Jesus put on me back in the day. But Jesus was trying to get me out the paint with black women for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah, here no, we go again. No, three years no, late. I'm telling you. Right? Right? But, but, but who? But it's, it's you. You dig your old grave. I didn't do it, It's though. your old grave. Every day you dig your old grave. <laughs> like, you can't. You just like you just don't leave well enough alone, bro. <laughs> Which is... Yo, every just walked out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not for nothing. No, we why? doing we doing a five city tour. So I uh, mean, <laughs> be sure to check that out. We got uh, Brooklyn, Bronx, Bronx Queens, Queens, Queens Manhattan, 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 Please, please put the camera on Envy's chair right now. <laughs> that, is the, that nigga is light skin. You hear me, bro? Why is he, why is <laughs> he so tight though? No, listen. okay, okay. So the thing is, and, <laughs> like, I, like, and, I, and, he, and, look, and I listen. You gotta know, we work with Envy, so we know. But I guess any mention. I ain't not see him act like that. I know that. His wife is gonna set him off. But I'm the same way. I chased, yo, true story. Back in the day, like, this is like pre TV Mero. I'm crossing, I'm in Bay Plaza Shopping Center, Shopping Bay Plaza, going to the supermarket with my four month old son in a stroller. My wife is pushing him across a crosswalk. This dude ignores the stop sign, almost hits the carriage, and says to my wife, yo, you fucking bitch. I was like, what? I chased this motherfucker down like two blocks on foot while he was in his car. Pulled this motherfucker out of his car, and that's where I'm gonna end the story because of statute of limitations. Well, uh, I mean, I, but I, like, I can't, I can't say why he's upset, but that don't sound like the equivalent of what y'all just. Do you know what I'm saying? Right? But like at the oh, same time, it wasn't, I mean, like I feel certain things. People find certain things disrespectful. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. it varies. It's subjective. Like I, if you call my wife a bitch to me, that's disrespectful. Right. My thing is, if he, you make just, a he just pressed us on us. He just pressed us on air. About it, we apologize. It shit should be over. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Am I am I wrong and for I that? And I get it. Yeah. That it seemed it felt like a harmless joke, but to him, people don't really know their whole story. So people, I mean, do, I think what it is is that people probably do say, "Oh, she's just with him for the money all the time." But he probably felt like we cool. Y'all come on the show, and Gia definitely has held him down from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. You know, but see, we, didn't, we wasn't. We but had no didn't, malice by that. that. We and, thought we was cool. We because right. like we. Joke on Charlemagne. Yes, I can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we, laugh. Like, we laugh. But That's you know what it is too thought, But Charlemagne jokes on y'all too. Yeah. So Every I day, thought he was gonna joke the... back, but I guess that's not how I it works. Mean, and now, listen, just... and now, you know, it's gonna now it's like bad because now it's like next time we get up invited up here, it's gonna be like, yo, is it gonna be like last time? We gotta figure something out. Black here. women hate me because of Jesus. Oh, stop it! Don't <laughs> like, care about you. Go that's 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 God damn it, Charlemagne! No. Charlemagne, black, hate me you. black no. women hated you way before no. me. Yeah. Come on now, we used to be on the center of uncommon sense. Jesus, for no reason, would be like Charlemagne hates black, black women. women. <laughs> he do. He do. Actually, let me. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Charlemagne. It will never happen. It will never happen again. It will never happen again. We will never make a joke. Did I say something about you, Ed? Do I gotta come? I don't. You know what? No, you just be chilling in the okay, right? But you know what? I apologize to you too. Okay, Anybody listening to sorry. this, if we have ever, if we've ever roasted you, I'm sorry. My man with the camera right there, I apologize. I was Yo, Victor, I love was. your hair. I call you Bruno Mars. Well, I'm sorry. sorry T. T. Yo, T. I love job. you. I love you. I love you in <laughs> Temple and all that. I respect it, but okay. everybody don't deserve apologies when y'all get it. Then, but I respect when you, you know, if you feel like you need to apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize to Puff once. Look, I mean, that's the thing. We apologize. That's the thing. I mean, people don't have to. People don't have to accept your apology. But I mean, if you ask for it, and then you give someone gives it to you, and then you don't take it, then what yeah. the fuck you even ask for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? But I feel him as a dude, as a married man. Like I understand. Like you know what I'm saying? When people come at your wife and your kids, I remember you telling me this a long time ago. It was like when you start popping, people start coming at the stuff that's that you're sensitive about. Absolutely. And troll you about that. So Absolutely. I feel him. You know what I'm saying? On a certain level, but at that yeah, at but the, end if of you were entertainment and you're sensitive, joke. you're gonna have a very short career in entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You can't okay, ask my man from Monk's Corner over here. Uh, if every time someone called him a black ashy walrus. <laughs> He's ever right. him. He would not be in the business he's anymore. The only he would have said that. <laughs> well, that's why he's in therapy. Right? <laughs> 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 you could have just told me. <laughs> All right, it's still like that. It's something. Yo. <laughs> I'm but here not, yo. I thought it was gonna, yeah. And this shout out to Joe Butt is messy ass what for being it? like, yo. How do you know his ass is messy? Because fucking, he was on on his thing talking about, yo, Envy got some shit for y'all. Boy, well, y'all going up on the rest of the club. He oh was, no, I know he for a fact. Me. I know he wanted smoke with them. He, he called me. He told me some shit. I was like, well, bro, I, 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 
<laughs> See, why'd you give me the heads up about that then? <laughs> no, you didn't I didn't find out until she told me. Like, stop that. You didn't you? see that? No. This shit was all because I don't Twitter. be on the t- I don't be on timelines checking for us like that. Like, if the shit ain't positive, why would I bring negativity to my doorstep? I, I didn't know Envy had it out for y'all like that because he definitely with Rory from Joe Budden podcast. He was like, I don't want Rory up here. <laughs> I'm like, straight up? Shalom, you missed it. Oh, all right. Well, shit. It's good, good, good. This kid look good, though. This kid look good. You're glowing, you're radiant. You're, you're radiant, you, brother. Man. I appreciate you. I was going to text y'all about this. What is the relationship with Jimmy Fallon? He seems to fuck with y'all heavy. heavy. He's cool. Yeah, yeah. He's cool, we cool. And it's funny because it, initially the promo run was like, yo, fuck Jimmy Fallon. Like, ah, yeah, yeah. it was a joke. Like, and we whatever. met him and we just vibed automatically. You know, he's just a cool, he's a harmless. He don't like... You know, like even like he ruffled with Trump's hair and stuff. Like yeah. even he said, you know, like I'm trying to, I try to stay away from politics and stuff. He's just trying to have a good. He's a white guy. He's just trying to have a good time. I heard Jimmy gets fucked. Up. I don't know about that. No, about that. no comment. I don't know about that. No comment. Why Breakfast Club always trying to get spicy? <laughs> no, no comment. <laughs> okay, I just came over here to promote the tour. <laughs> five boroughs, five on. shows. Look at All this right? shit. That motherfuckers got 28 bottles of that. Who even come out here and be like, yo, I heard you talking spicy? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, Vladimir Putin, we assaulted you last night. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Too. Wasn't he on your show, Fallon, last night? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I, yeah, yeah. I was, going, I was like, yo, hold up. I was like, I've seen him on Fallon like seven times. Yeah, yeah. Fallon's on their show all the time. I'm like, you're yeah. going to be getting fucked up with Fallon. Are dude. you guys, yeah. you know, are you guys <laughs> planning some projects together now? Since that would be, be nice. That'd be nice. Wants, you know what, what I'm mean? saying? That motherfucker's rich, so we can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he, he, Yo, he made us pickles. He, he, he made he pickles, made for us. pickles for us. How do you make pickles? You get a cucumber, put some brine you, in. First, some, you have some... to be. First of all, you have to be a white person. Yeah. And that's step one. And then step two is, I think, a jar and some brine and cucumbers. Did and he gave it to us. They were Yo, good too. Crib? Nah, he brought gave it to us uh, on his show. Okay, okay, okay. Do you guys even like pickles? I, I mean, if Jimmy, if Jimmy Fallon gives you pickles, you gotta like pickles. I don't like pickles. I'm 3 a.m. Yeah. I threw them shits on a damn sandwich, and I was like, rah, 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 rah. you don't even like it like in a sandwich with like him? some shit. Yeah. yeah. Apologize. What? Apologize what? to Angela. I'm sorry, Angela, for eating him. Angela, him. I'm apologizing. I will never, I will never, never in my life. No coca, never. No sausage, no, no turkey, no more, no more. No more swine, sister, I promise. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all happy advice? Or y'all about to make that move to NBC Universal? Oh, boy. Wow. 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 Looking for a victim in the back wow. is like, chill, stop. Wow. Stop. <laughs> Don't make me break my yeah, hand. You see the hoodie down. right now, Vice Landers, the label that pays me. So that's what we bang with right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is it true they got a, a, num- a limit of, of curse words y'all can say on Five fucks. Five fucks. Fucks that you gotta bleep you out. You can't say any up here. Oh, we can't say they bleep. I accept them? your apology. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apologize. I'm sorry. 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 I was gonna compliment your shoes, but I don't want to be misogynist. I apologize about that. <laughs> oh, you know man. what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. When did that rule come into play? Well, which one? About the, fuck the rule. I mean, it's you can't just be all willy nilly because then by the time you have to you have to cut different versions of the show. There's the 11 o'clock version. Then there's a the version that goes online. Then there's a the version that comes on at like 9 a.m. when it rebroadcasts. And the 9 a.m. version can't have mad curses in there, or else it's oh. just blank. Yeah. It's okay. just all bleep. Bleep-a-thon. So it's more like, it's more for the viewer, because you don't, it's like, you ever heard like a clean Migos song? And it's just like, sounds crazy. Mama! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there's no words yeah. yet. And people just like, I like the I show, mean, but they're not saying anything. I feel like most Migos songs don't have any words, but that's fine. Right. Apologize to the Migos. Apologize to the Migos right now. Uh, Quavo, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I will never, ever, ever disrespect your lyricism ever again, my, my yeah, brother. Yeah, stop because Envy's going to be mad. Again? Again? <laughs> no, Why are you going to be mad? Envy's going to be mad. Envy's going to be mad again. I'm sure Envy's mad. Leave him alone. I thought, yo, I thought he was going to mad for I, I thought he- you thought he was joking? I know. I no. I I, I think he's dead ass. Cause like as a, he again, is dead ass. No, as, again, as a married man with children, like I that, I take that shit seriously. But I thought he was at least gonna come up with the reverb and be like, "Fuck y'all niggas, fuck y'all niggas, fuck y'all." Niggas. Every, nah, he, every, called every. he called his dick. He called his dick a pussy. Out, wash out, wash out. He called his dick a pussy. Dick a pussy, dick a pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> I'm Were like, you guys come on, man. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. what? Were you guys offended by being called like dickhead and pussy? Nah, no, bro. I call worse I mean, today. At the end of the day, like, I, I I'm probably sick of this show, man. I'm tired of this Breakfast Club shit. You tired of this? You leave it? This is too messy. For no is it too messy? Do you know what I'm saying? What about Angela? Apologize to Angela. No, apologize to Angela. I'm sorry, Angela. You're an integral part of this program. I apologize for diminishing your role as a woman in entertainment. I will never do it again. I apologize. Also, I'm sorry, Quavo, again. I'm just By upset. the way, Envy could have just sat out the interview like I did Troy F. He didn't have to even do that. <laughs> I think he it, has more, it, it had a lot there. more impact the way he did it. Okay. Did it? Yeah, I think so. It did, was, was it good? Impactful. You think you think this was uh you think this was know. good for I anybody? Didn't know, I didn't know this was good. You think happen. when this goes viral, it's gonna have the impact that is is gonna make Breakfast Club look good? Are people gonna wanna come up here now? Are people gonna be like, nah, y'all niggas are setting niggas up? People already don't wanna come up here. I, I mean, know. no, but nah, but <laughs> that's the crazy thing. Like, like where y'all
Mar- so Mar- I didn't know that was coming, my brother. Yeah, I don't. I mean, like I know, no, Charlie, yeah, yeah. I know. I, know I, was you know, but, I mean, listen, you can't. Yeah, you, I, I knew like, it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming, but I don't care about shit like that, man. Like at the end of the day, like I like look. Once you get kicked in the head with a Timberland and you've been in a couple of fights, like you know how to take a punch and you can defend yourself. And it, yeah, if yeah, it yeah, ever yeah. comes to that, but it's not gonna come to that. We but it's not even that. It's like, like you know, you want to maintain good relationships and entertainment and stuff. Yeah. You know, like we out of the projects we want to promote. Like we wanted to have him on the show. That's not gonna happen now. Like he gonna come on the show <laughs> and fucking kill us. Like fuck y'all niggas and like DDT us through a table <laughs> or something. Like. And it's funny because you know what? Not for nothing. <laughs> to go back on this, we was about to have DJ Academics on the show. No, do that. We was gonna have him on the de- we was on a list. We was gonna have him because we had Joe. We was gonna yeah, have yeah. um Shorty Nadesco. What we was gonna have all of them on. Yeah, yeah. but now look, you don't block your own blessings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want an apology because I, I you guys have you are also gonna be on the show. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, what? And you because we're gonna as a woman in entertainment. We're gonna have you. Angela, why haven't you come on yet? You haven't asked me. You don't gotta ask. You don't. Wait, so I'm just show up. You, Angela Yee. Yeah, you could just is, you could just pull up you and be like, just, I'm you literally could just pull up and sit on yeah, the couch. Yeah, you could be like, oh, who's your guest today? Jude Law, get that motherfucker out of here. Wait, wait hold on, hold on, we'll stop. Charlamagne Charla- 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 got something to say. Charlamagne about to say something spicy. Charlamagne about to say something real spicy. As a Jesus and Meryl fan, if I don't see a breakdown of that, what we just saw on y'all show, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be honest with you. If I don't see the slow roll and all that shit, I'm ready. See, you see how Charlamagne just keep baiting the band? But look, this is the thing. This is the thing with me. I'm going to be upset if I don't see it. You gotta have to add Sonic rings to it. Yo, oh. yo, listen, man. To quote Oscar snub film Killer Season, where Cameron said, "Yo, this shit is not scheduled for us. This was a schedule for me, in particular, or oh, Amber. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we wasn't supposed to be famous comedians with TV shows and blah blah blah. Right. So I'm just living every day as it goes. I know, but you're I'm still, still running late. Content, you know what I'm content running man. Late, and I'm still for me streaming. So it could it could be whatever it could be. But at the end of the day, I feel you, fam. Like you know what I'm saying? You're at the end, at, listen. You can be in your bag." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> my love. I didn't mean it for it to go this way. <laughs> we love you, brother. Yo, Boy, come on. It's like, I feel like it's Highlander, bro. Yo, like, it's about to, this like, shit feel like bookings, for real. Yeah. I'm going to take my shoes off and fight, niggas. Yeah, come on, son. All right? Now y'all niggas got me tight. Y'all set me up for this yeah, shit. Y'all been on the You got your man Wax out there. Where's my man? I'm about to go sit over there and be the legend. Hey, you know what I'm Wax is neutral. We you know all what I'm saying? Then, uh, you just, I am very, I'm very then. interested to see what the comments are going to be like after this. What if I go over there right now and say in every chat, I just do every for the rest of the show? Whoa. 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 Nah, nah, nah. I apologize for even joking about that. No, no. <laughs> serious question, serious question. Why do y'all think white people enjoy y'all so much? Uh, because it's a way for them to go to the hood without having to go to the hood. Yeah, it's like going to the zoo. You Imagine to the if you could like, go, you could view the hood from the safety yeah, of your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, cool. Oh, and then also, you know, like if you, it's kind of like Hamilton or The Wire. If you're up on it early, you're like, yo, you're the cool white person. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. like, you're if the you're the white, white person, person that knows about the show and all your friends don't know about it, you're learning slam before them. You know about memes before them. Like it's a, it's yeah. a great way to get a view into black Twitter and black culture and things like that. So. Monday night, Elvis Duran, me and Elvis Duran was texting at like ten thirty. You know, you do morning radio, so you're like, yo, yeah. why are you still up? Yeah. And I'm like, why are you still up? And he was like, waiting on Jesus and Mero. Yeah. I thought like, Elvis, Elvis Durant. Durant. Elvis Durant. 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 See? Tell yo, can I tell you something? Yeah. For the longest time, I thought Elvis Durant was Dominican. Because wow. I have an uncle. Uh, yes, because I have an uncle whose Elvis. literal name is Elvis, Elvis, Elvis Durant. Durant. Yeah. And I was like, yo, my man's out here. They don't be a person now. And then I seen him. I was like, oh, you're all white dude. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a legend we, in the game. Yeah, Absolutely. he is. Legend in the game. Jingle ball. All day. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. don't oh. threaten Elvis with a good time. Hey, hey. <laughs> apologize to Elvis. Apologize I'm to sorry, Elvis. Elvis. Right I, Elvis, I apologize, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... That was weird. Now, what's the <laughs> difference between the show and the podcast? Uh, the podcast is more raw. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's uncensored. You could say, you know, because well, um, we could do whatever we want. We police there. ourselves on there. Yeah. We don't get, there's no, there's no standards and practices to say, yo, you can't say this, you can't say that. And then you, you also we'll don't, like, you have to, like, like clear samples. And, you know, like, when you show a clip, you got to get clear the rights for it and all yeah. that stuff. And on, on the podcast, we could just fly. Just a lot of people fly. have asked for you guys to come on my lip service podcast. Let's something. make it happen. I mean, I, that, I feel like you are asking us to come on. No, I, I seriously get a lot of, I was like, I don't have the No more entrapment for my guys, man. Who on lip service got a problem yeah, with Yeah, who we gonna walk into? Just right. somebody, yeah, somebody, like, somebody, somebody <laughs> I fought in seventh grade. Fam, I feel like, yo, yo no, oh, what's no. up, D? I'm like, damn, damn Jamal. Yo, yeah, still tucking my chain. Fam, I feel like when I walk out of here, he's gonna cut my head off like Highlander oh. and be like, I am the only light-skinned nigga allowed in this vicinity. Would y'all go on his podcast, the Casey Crew? Uh, it was just him? Yeah. Him and his wife? Maybe? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't, but, got a okay, I don't got no do you, actual. I don't do you got no sincere, actual. Do you, do you think that he had a reason to be upset? I'm just curious. Ah, why do we keep talking about that? Well, I mean, I mean, I mean we, yeah, since we've going? discussed it like five times, he feels and married and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. All
<laughs> no, he feels. <laughs> he just he won't feel, stop, will you? He feels but, he's married in New York. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, like, right. the only thing that I, the only, th- I mean, the funny part about it wasn't the actual situation, because that's never funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you, infidelity and, and marital problems is never, like, funny, something to laugh at, unless you're, la- unless you're laughing at your own pain. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, the funny part was, like. The freeze frames in the slow motion. Yeah, and then, like, bro, you did this on television. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You yeah. feel me? Like, on the, not even the, what was it, the real? The real. Fam. You know how many fucking segments we do a week? Like, I don't even remember this. That's why I kept asking him to play the clip. <laughs> like, if you really think I'm in my house every morning, like, yo, remember that thing we did about DJ Envy? Uh, you know what? Fam- this has happened to all of us up here because Lil Yachty thought Charlemagne said something he didn't say. And, you know. He- no, I'm not saying I didn't say it. I clearly said it. No, but- I'm saying, but and sometimes Char- people will tell Charlemagne he said something he doesn't remember saying it. And we got I don't be thinking about that shit after exactly. I say it. Yeah, me neither. That's what I'm saying. That's how I'm not, I don't and people really get trust so it. so offended by things, and you might not even mean it that way. It's definitely happened to me also. You know, people, you've, got, you've been offended by Yeah. It? No, no. People have gotten mad at me thinking oh, I said oh, something okay. offensive. I thought you were talking about the Gucci Mane show where he was I like, wasn't. okay. So. Did, did y'all reach out to your new friend Bow Wow since he got uh What? I saw the clip. Did he really out? get... Yeah. I, he really got snuff? They say yeah, he got snuff, but the, the clip, clip, it seems like a hoax. And you know Bow Wow. You know, every now and then you got to you gotta wait till TMZ confirms what Bow Wow yeah. says. Because like, he do be flying he, on he, private yeah. jets for the Southwest private jets. He be jumping out there, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't, you know, you can't confirm everything he say. Do you guys ever get mad at what people say about you? Nope. Nah, man. You can't. If you're doing this, you can't have a a, a thin skin. Like, yeah, I like get, if we on like, TV talking about people and then people talk about us, like that would be a little hypocritical. Is, and also, bro. like I said, you won't go far in this if you have thin skin. Mm-hmm. Like you think Oprah, like people was calling Oprah types of stuff in the '80s and the '90s. If she allowed that to stop her on her path, Social she wouldn't media, go in though, there. Made it a lot different. I, you know, I was just talking about this yesterday. How and me um, just getting to where I got to without having to deal with social media in the beginning of it made it a lot easier for me. Mm -hmm. Just because when I first started doing radio, it was like 13 years ago, it's serious. And I had never done radio before. I didn't go to school for it. And I was terrible. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, you know, I was on Sirius. It was a brand new show on on Shade 45. No one really heard it because I didn't tell anybody I was on it. And there was no Twitter. There was none of that. But if I would have been doing that now and it would have been my first day and I never did radio, people would have killed me. Yeah. Yo, when and we that, first... And it's, you have to, like, I was able to build up a tough skin. So now it doesn't bother me at all when yeah. people say negative things. But I think it's harder for kids now, like, starting out trying to do this because people come at you all the yeah, time. All the time, yeah. No, fam, when we first started... to make my mistakes. When we first started, shout out to Charlemagne. You know, one of the best shows ever. I don't know why they ruined it and got rid of it, but Uncommon, Uncommon Sense. Sense. <clears throat> Uncommon Sense. Every time. You know, like, I'd be so amped. I'd be like, yo, we did a show. Yo, I'm proud of this. We did a show uh, with Charlemagne. Throw it on my Instagram. Yo, this shit is whack. Yo, y'all <laughs> think this is the worst part of Uncommon Sense. Yo, there was one yo, girl. Cut them there was one girl, and I remember every time I posted, she was like, yo, I love this show, but y'all are not funny. Y'all are the worst thing ever. Y'all are a bunch of coons, whatever. Every Every time, right. every time we posted, and that girl, and I would go look at her page, and that girl's life was so sad and boring. Mm. All she had was like a little cat. <laughs> He's like LeBron, 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 LeBron. So I'm like, yo, if you were on the internet trolling people and stuff like that, like, yo, you usually got more hurt, and you, or you're doing it from like a private page or whatever. Well, yeah, and, like, and let's be clear, people that are popping don't do stuff like that. Like, if you really yeah, got shit nah. going really yeah. good, you, you don't be on. Like on, I, I know I don't never leave comments on YouTube pages and I don't do none of that yeah. because I don't really have time. I, exactly. I do occasionally. I do I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you a uh, wild boy, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying. But I, I do it too sometimes just to keep the roast muscle tight. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, because, you know what I mean? You you got to be able to come back as soon as But I don't just something. attack people for no reason. Is what oh, no, nah, definitely not. Sometimes not you don't got to yeah. attack people. But if people nah. jump in your message every now and then, you got to show them no, that they too could. Yeah, I can understand defending yourself, but I'm saying I don't just look at other people's like random. Right. Like, that's weird. Behavior. Be like trying to go in on them. I just never thought like that, and yeah, I don't even nah. have time to do that. Nah. Because you gotta like for us, we know we're real people. You're doing things, but for <laughs> other people, they use social media as just a game. Like you ever look at like Boiler Alert? Shout out to them. Their comments, yeah. comment creeping. The, com- mm-hmm. the comment creeping. There's people in those comments talking about Kim Kardashian. Like they hang out with her every day, absolutely, and they I know things. It. And they're oh. like, yo, and they're like, oh, they like, I, I know Charlemagne. Oh, they're like, I'm friends with Charlemagne, and right. I know this. Are you looking at this like, who the hell is Ooh, this person? So but I mean, know. you fuel a lot of that, D, just because you have people thinking my wife was white. And also, I, <laughs> and also, I and apologize, I was, Charlemagne, <laughs> to you and your white wife. And I was dating Paul Abdul. <laughs> that was true. <laughs> Remember, he was he was he was dating Paul Abdul. He was, he he was. dated Paul Abdul. He did. See, look at that. You think you know a person? He lied to you about that. <laughs> he be lying about that shit. Remember the remember the video. Do you remember the video with the, with the cat? With the cat. So Straight up, cat. Tell me he was in the background. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I yes. Scat cat. They had him. MC the Scat Cat and Charlemagne. <laughs> you heard it here first, y'all. They used to rap. Yeah. See, Listen, I walked in here one day. Brandon out there, the intern, and another yeah. intern. They was like, "Yo, man." 
We ain't no used to date Paul Abdul. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. See, like, that's the beauty of the podcast. Samaro, they said you used to date Paul Abdul. I'm like, what? <laughs> we said on the podcast that Shaggy died in the Gulf War. And motherfuckers believe it. The people was like tweeting all day. It was like, yo, rest in peace. Thank you for your service. I'm not going to apologize to Shaggy. No, Shaggy. I'm sorry, Shaggy. No, I'm sorry, Shaggy. 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 It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Shaggy dating Sting now. He's dating Sting? Why you? No, Sting did say they hooked up. They met on Tinder. They met on Tinder? No, don't say that because stop it. Shaggy's Jamaican. He don't play that. He's is a Jamaican. I know. I'm saying don't say that about Shaggy. Apologize to Jamaicans. I apologize, Jamaica. Nobody boy. Wow! Apologize to my LGBTQIA people. You can't say that. I'm, you know I'm what not. that's equivalent I like to? the energy. <laughs> I don't like the energy. I respect I the energy. You know, I got to get out of here. Don't, get, <laughs> don't take that out. I I get in trouble. I feel... Oh, man. So let's talk about this to tour. So yes. we haven't gotten into that, because I see you guys are going to the Masonic Temple in Detroit. In Detroit, yeah, Which yes. is where we've done Coast wow, for Kids. Wow, y'all really yeah, yeah. Now. We, so we doing... That. Yeah, man. This, Listen, I'm going to come here with a thin red bracelet on my wrist. You know what I mean? Seattle, Baltimore... Boston at the Wilbur, Rhode right, Island Theater, sell out for the third time. Strand Theater, Rhode Island, nice. uh, Meyerhoff Symphony Hall, in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we, we got the New York tour over. as well, which is the five, the old five boroughs. Yeah. Come on, Staten Island, get on the ferry, you know come out and see us. <laughs> oh, so it's two the, different tours. It's two tours. We oh, got okay, the city, like yeah. the country tour, and then we got the the borough tour. You know what I mean? So it should be exciting. Queen show's gonna be lit because Envy's gonna come down like Fan Man and try to snuff us. <laughs> wow. You said Fan. That's two good references. That was two good references. But apologize to Envy. No, I'm on? sorry, Envy. I'm sorry. Should I turn my camera on and get the lobby action? <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's no lobby action. Can, we get, can, can we get security to walk us out? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling for my safety. <laughs> Nick, keep the camera rolling just in yeah. case. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh Are you guys gonna reach out to Envy behind the scenes? And- like, yo, Elvis, you I might send an edible arrangement or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I don't give him a hug. How do you? I, I, I apologize. Like, what else should I do now? Can you please send an edible arrangement? You want? Yeah, send it Monday. Don't okay, I got you. I got you, Angela. <laughs> edible arrangement. I got you. <laughs> if y'all send an edible arrangement, Jamaica might get on you. If I said, <laughs> if I said it to another dude, <laughs> that's oh, a man. I apologize to I apologize to Jamaica and edible arrangements on other dudes out there. <laughs> Where can they get tickets for the tour, man? Oh, you can go right now if you go to bodegasushi.com. There's mm-hmm. links to all the. Country tour tickets, and if you go to Jesus and Meryl do NYC dot com, there's tickets available for all the NYC tour. Most of them are sold out, but you can still go to Shaolin. Yeah, no, actually, no. If you go, we're gonna we might we you know what I'm saying we might release a couple more tickets for you know y'all. So if you weren't able to get for like the Apollo and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Try again. We might got you. Where's it in Brooklyn? Brooklyn, we doing King's it. Theater. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's where I'm from, Flatbush. Hey, hey, I'm going to the Flatbush. show now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> That's a rude question, Charlamagne. <laughs> Charlamagne, what happened last time someone came on your show talking about how much money they was getting for shows? <laughs> <laughs> we okay? Need, Charlamagne, we need, well, I need you to stop. I need you to understand. We need to do better for us. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do better for us, Charlamagne. <laughs> oh. Please understand that. Oh, man. Jesus and Meryl, y'all. That's <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast club. <laughs> we, I apologize to I everybody. Apologize to if you heard this, you offended, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.